Let's talk about frame rates. Frame rate, often referred to as frames per second or FPS, is the number of pictures or frames taken per second. A standard frame rate for most applications is 24 FPS. It's when we start increasing or decreasing the amount of FPS that we're able to achieve different looks and effects. A higher frame rate or more FPS will result in a smoother looking image. Now, this might seem like a good thing, but sometimes it's too smooth and it looks more like an amateur home movie and isn't as desirable. However, we can use higher frame rates to achieve buttery smooth slow motion. On the flip side, slower frame rates or fewer FPS will allow us to speed things up into hyper and time lapses. Let's take a look at this in action. Here's a standard 24 FPS clip. If you try to slow it down, it looks choppy, no matter what percentage you use, which probably isn't the look that you're going for. So let's bump up the frame rate to 30 frames per second. If you slow it down to 80%, it looks pretty smooth and just a bit slower than normal. Why slow it down to 80%? Well, let's do a little math. 80% of 30 frames is 24 frames. You should pretty much always set your projects and timelines to and edit at 24 frames, unless you have a really good reason not to. All right, let's double our frame rate and try out 60 FPS. You always want to slow down 60 FPS footage to 40%. Again, 40% of 60 is 24. Notice how smooth and awesome this slow motion looks. Okay, here's the final test, 120 frames per second. Can you guess what percentage you can slow it down to? Yep, 20%. Look how slow and smooth and awesome the shot looks. So what if we want to go the other way and use fewer frames per second? Well, when doing this, there's really no set rules. If you want to create a time lapse of say, the clouds passing by, the Milky Way, or just people walking in the hallway, the best way to do this is to take individual pictures at certain intervals, like five seconds or 30 seconds, then edit them together later. Just plan on taking 24 pictures for each second you want your video to be. If you want to get more into time lapses or hyperlapses, let me know and we'll get you going on that. Now, remember when we talked about shutter speed? So you remember the rule for setting your shutter speed. Yeah, it should be double your FPS or as close to it as possible. So if I'm shooting something at like 24 FPS, my shutter speed should be one over 48 or as close to it as I can get. If I'm shooting at 120 frames per second, then set the shutter speed to one over 240 and so on. This gives you just the right amount of motion blur. One thing you should probably be aware of is that increasing your frame rate makes your image a bit darker. So you'll want to adjust your aperture and or the ISO accordingly. Oh, and you're probably wondering how exactly to change the frame rate on these cameras. Well, it's pretty easy. Just go into the menu and look for the record settings option. There you can change it to whatever frame rate is appropriate for your project. So there you have it. When we understand how frame rate works, we are able to start developing the look of our images as well as shoot for both slow motion and hyper and time lapses, depending on whatever you want to do. This can add a ton of production value to your videos. So let's get this video over with already and start filming. Ready, set, go.